Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 38, the final game week. We're going to look at what my plans are, but before we do, let's see who did well in Game Week 37. So in the Midnight Mule Mini League, there were loads of high scores, as in three digits. I mean, look at this page, they're all 125 the lowest, but the highest this week was Kaz Phillips with Vodka Martinelli, managing 157 points. And that was with Captain Harland 30, Gvardiol 27, Palmer 14, Gusto 13, Foden 11, Pedro Porro 10, Gordon 8, Jackson 7, Dubravka 5, Isaac 4 and Sun 4. And then they played the bench boost, which gave them another 5, 6, 7 and 6, which looks like 24 points. So that was a very good score. And there were lots of high scores this week, but... That was very good. Well done. Top of our league is Ziad Brahim with Tien Guna with a massive 151 points. So nearly the top score, but not quite. That was with Haaland 30 as captain, Gvardiol 27, Palmer 14, Foden 11, Pedro Porro 10, Welbeck 9. Not many people owned him. Gordon 8. And then Isaac 4, Sun 4. And then... They also played the bench boost, which was Gusto 13, Gabriel 7, and then a Dinger and Raya. So very nice. That's 29 points on the bench there. As for me, I'm down in 105th. I got 130 points, but I didn't play my bench boost because I burnt that a long time ago. But I did have my treble captain. So Haaland for 45, Gvardiol 27, Palmer 14, Foden 11, Gordon 8, Hoyland 8, Isaac 4, Fernandez 5, and that was it. And my bench, which I got no points for, Pickford 8, but Petrick had two games, that's why I played him. Havertz 6, and White 6, and Robertson didn't play. So that's another small green arrow, currently on 162,000. So I'm currently 338 from top spot. So if I can outscore top by 338 points, I can still win the whole thing. I've got one week left to do it. Something funny about rank, by the way, I would say don't worry too much about rank. It's way more important to have a good time during the year playing this silly game. You do get a lot of people making a big thing about rank. But if you look at the, this list, for example, someone with a rank of about 10k, which sounds really, really good, are as close to top spot as they are to the 1 million rank. I'm, I'm in 100k and I'm about as close to the 3 million as I am to top spot. In fact, I'm closer to 3 million than top spot so <laughs> there's such a cluster of teams all together so it's kind of first and not first so way more important to have a good time and maybe if I was second in the world I wouldn't be saying that <laughs> but I'm not so it is what I'm saying thank you very much to everyone who's been watching these videos over the two years I've been making them it is very much appreciated my goal was in case you're interested when I started after two years if I have at least one very good year I may be able to hit a thousand subscribers. I've not had a good year either time, at least rank wise, and I've got over a thousand subscribers. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Thank you. In the cup, we had the semi final. We had Marcin Dogonski with Mardog against Salami Usama with Algerian. There they are. And it was Algerian that got the better score, which is 144. And that was with Gvardio 27. De Bruyne 24, Gusto 13, Gordon 8, Gabriel 7, Jackson 7, Johnson 7, Branthwaite 6, Onana 5, Sun 4. But then there was the bench with Haaland for 15, Dubravka 5, Palmer 14, Isaac 4. So very nice. What's that? 38 points I think on the bench. So very good. Right, the, <laughs> the silly fantasy challenge. Look at that. Two years of doing these videos. I think it's the first time I've top scored in anything. So that's very nice. And that was my team. It was what uh, some Tottenham players, Man City players and Everton mostly. And I left some points on the bench. So if you look at FPL Game Week website, you can see the content creators, how they're doing. And you see where you'd appear. Current top content creator is Ben Krellin. And he's currently, what, 664th in the world. Second is FPL Fran. Third is Harry Daniels. And they're all very close. And any of those three could end up being the top content creators. So it's pretty close. They've all got very good scores. As for me, I'd be all the way down in 55th, which is a little bit higher than Holly. 
but it's one point below FBL Heisenberg and it's 14 points behind FBL Mate. So my transfer, I've got one free transfer and I'm actually perfectly happy with my squad. So if I had to play my current squad, that's fine. I could do that. However, I am currently thinking I may sell Trippier. So I've held on to him for weeks and weeks and weeks when he's been injured. He's finally back. And I'm like, yeah, I might move him on now. So I may move him on for Trent. I can do that. I've got enough money. That's not a problem. Another option I may do is take Pickford and swap him for Raya. So at the moment, I'll be playing Petrovic in goal. I got a free transfer. I could swap it for Raya. Another thing, I could take a minus four. Now, it's the last game week of the season. My rank in any of the leagues that I care about isn't going to change. I've There's a big gap above me and below me. So I could take a minus 20 hit. It's not going to affect me in the leagues at all. So from minus four, I could take Dallow, move him on to Trent, and then take Gordon and, for example, have Rice to fund that. And then the reason for doing that is I would then play five defenders. So all season, most of the time, at least we've been playing three at the back. Last game week of the season, I could play five attacking defenders. And that would be a bit of fun for me, I think. Uh, it, it wouldn't be worth it. I'm not going to get my four points back, but I'd have a good time watching the scores coming in. So assuming I do the first one I said, which is trips to Trent, my team would be Haaland would get to wear the old mule hat. They're at Man City are at home to West Ham, so that'd be of his mates Cavadio and Foden. And then Havertz at home to Everton. He'd have the vice captaincy with White. And then we've got Robertson at home to Wolves of his mate Trent. We've got Petrovic at home to Bournemouth with his mate Palmer. So all of those could get decent scores. And then Fernandez away to Brighton and Isaac away to Brentford. And then on my bench, I've had Pickford, who will probably get some save points. He won't get a clean sheet, but he gets save points. Hoyland. The thing is, I'm actually quite tempted to play Hoyland, maybe even Hoyland before Isaac. I'm aware all the prediction sites would have Isaac scoring more, and he probably would. But I quite, Hoyland, I quite like Hoyland, so I may play him anyway. And then Gordon, who of course is a good player, and Dallo. Then regarding the background picture, why have I got a teddy bear's picnic? Well, there's an FPL meet on Sunday and there'll be, I don't know how many people there going down to London and it's a place called the Thirsty Bear. So I assume we're all taking our favourite teddy bear with us. They've not confirmed that, but it's the assumption. So there's the details if you're interested. FPL Meets in London. Uh, if you're on Twitter, you might want to contact FPL Meets and get the details. That's the location, half 12 on Sunday. I've already booked my train and a hotel as well. So unless something unforeseen happens, I will definitely be there. And that's it. What happened in 37 and my plan for game week 38. Game week 38, I kind of think, needs to be a fun week. You just, unless you're close to winning your league or you're at the top and you're defending it, I think you can afford just to have some fun. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a nice Game Week 38. And if you're in the Thirsty Bear on Sunday, please do come and say hello. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>